Hi again, this is Sammy. We will do some um, first year calculus. So here the first question, find the limit and it's the limit as X goes to zero, three minus square root of X plus nine all over X. So you see, you cannot sub the zero here because if you divide by zero, it's undefined. So what you're gonna do here, you wanna multiply by the conjugate and see what you get to. So, gonna go limit, oops, limit as x goes to zero, three minus square root of x plus nine all over x. So you multiply by the conjugate of the top, which is uh, three, and instead of minus, you write plus, and then x plus nine. Whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom always, because that's like multiplying by one, it doesn't change anything. Um, now, when you're doing this, you gotta foil this. And because this is what we call the difference of squares, or you're foiling something that's the same here and it's the same there except with the opposite sign. You could take a shortcut, just multiply the first by the first and instead of doing this and then doing this, you know that's gonna cancel because one is gonna be positive, one is gonna be negative. And then shortcut is to multiply, after multiplying the first by the first, just multiply the second by the second and you're gonna get square root of X plus nine times square root of X plus nine is gonna be just X plus nine because when you multiply square root by itself, the square root cancels and the negative times positive is negative. And here um, you have X and just keep it this way. Like don't, don't distribute the X into here and to there. Uh, and you'll see why as we continue with this. And don't forget that limit as X goes to zero. Okay, so as the lim limit, of x goes to zero. What we're gonna do, we're gonna simplify here. So nine minus positive nine is gonna cancel. So zero, and then you'll end up with negative x in there. So you could just rewrite it as nine minus x minus nine, and you see that would cancel there. And then you have x on the bottom and um, three plus square root of x plus nine, now the axis would cancel and I give you negative one on top. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sub in the zero so I don't have to write the limit anymore. I have negative one on top and then three plus square root of zero plus nine and that is zero plus nine is nine, square root of nine is three, three plus three is six. So the final answer is negative one over six for that limit, which is A. So here, this one here, if you're given this, find F prime of eight. So first of all, we have to find what F prime is. This looks a little bit complicated, but let's break it down. So we have F of X equals, we're gonna change the roots to powers. because the square root is the same as the power of, to the power of one half. And so we're just gonna write that. Now the chain rule, so what we wanna start doing F prime now, we have to follow the chain rule. So that would equal, we bring this half down first time, and then you just keep everything inside the same for now. And then take away one from there, that will give you negative one half. Multiplies, now you have to go and do the derivative of what's inside. So the derivative of one is just zero. So you don't have to write anything there, but this here, you'll have to do the same thing, bring the half down, and then you'll end up with one plus X to the power of negative one half. And then you have to do the derivative of X. So you go on the inside and do the derivative of what's inside here. The derivative of X is one, so you don't even have to write it. And that is as far as you could go with that. Now here, I think I'm just gonna write it as one 
over two. I'm gonna bring all of this down to make the exponent positive. So one plus one plus x to the power of half is that negative half that I wanna make positive. Yeah, it's to the power of one half times this also um, I'm gonna bring the one plus x to the negative half down where the two is and then it becomes positive one half and at this stage what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sub in now do f prime of eight which gives me one over two one plus one plus eight and to the part of half is the same as square root um and that's all to the power of one half which also means the square root i'm just gonna write a half there times one one over two and then a square root of one plus eight which equals now let's just do here which is one over if you sub it, one plus eight is nine square root of nine is three three plus one right here gives you four to the power of one half is the same as the square root of four which is gives me two so we'll have two times two here times one over i'm subbing in it would already sub then eight there so eight plus one is nine square root of nine is three three times two so we're just gonna two times three there and then i'm just gonna take this right on top here we're gonna have one over four times one over six which equals one over 24 and that is the answer c right there okay so um I'm just gonna pause the recording I think this is it for today. We'll just do two questions. I'll continue doing calculus every week. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, till next time, have a great weekend. It's Friday today, so take care. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Support this channel. Uh, thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.